Hi, it's Adam from Buzzy. Super excited to show you about the next version of Buzzy. So, a bit of background, Buzzy is a no-code platform. We take Figma designs, convert them into either responsive websites or native applications, no code. That's the full stack. So, the database, the data binding, the, the business logic, everything running on a scalable Kubernetes infrastructure, database cluster, the whole thing. But what happens if you don't have the design skills? What happens if you don't have a design? Let's have a look at how we can do that with generative AI. So we're going to look at the Figma plugin, and I'm going to give it a brief. It's a written brief. Um, it's for a Beer Explorer applic application. Um, it allows us to list some information about the beer from around the rule. I'm into beer. Let's see what it produces in terms of the spec. OK, cool. So here's the first version of the spec. So it's Got a bit of information, high level information about what the app does. Some functionality, so it's got a list of beers and we can view beer details. And we've got different types of user and we've got some information about the data types. But let's say we want to enhance that and we want to include some additional information. Um, so I'm going to paste in some enhancements to that brief. So we want to include some more information. So a bit about the brewery, some more details about the beer. Um, we can also... Um, allow users to create, edit, and delete that, so full CRUD capability. And we also want to add the ability to add in reviews. Let's enhance the spec and see what comes back. Hey, hey, this is so cool. It's writing the spec for us. So we've got more information on the functionality. Um, we can view the beer, de beer details, create, edit, delete, and review. And we've got more information about the user and the data types. We can also interactively edit each one of those functional capabilities, either adding or removing items on the fly. So to refine the specification and so on. So we won't do that now for the spec, that looks good enough. Let's do the next step, which is generate the data model. Hey, hey, cool, here we go. Here's the first version of our data model. Let's have a look at it. So it understands data relationships. So for somebody, let's say, with design or business skills who don't understand data modeling, you can put this together really quickly with help of the AI. So for example, we've got a list of beers, and it's created a one-to-many relationship or a subtable with the reviews. And then we can have a look at each one of those reviews. It's also got a user data object. Now, this is iterative. You can keep refining this, changing it either through words or actually come in and change things like the data type in here. So, by the way, we're using plain text for this because we're just generating um, image URLs, um, but we could change this to an image field that you could use a camera on a device or um, allow you to file browse on your computer. So, um, the next step is, let's assume that that data model is good enough for this example, let's generate the app design. Okay, cool. Um, so now we've generated the screens. Now the next step is we are going to take a UI kit. Now just to give you a look, quick look at the UI kit that we're using, um, this is completely customizable. But we've got a UI kit that um, defines things like, you know, the different building blocks that are going to create your site, so the atoms, molecules, content creators, and so on. And there's a few example screens over here of how this can be used. Now this is customizable by you, so you can make it look and feel how you'd like to. Now, let's go and actually just click Create Screens. Okay, here we go. That's it. There are the screens. Here they're created. Now, by the way, it's gone, and even though we don't need login, it's created a set of default screens for things like logging in. We can see here we've got the home page. Um, here are the details. Here's the Beer Explorer. So this is a dynamic list of featured beers and then some reviews. Um, we can go down into the... Um, that's the beer list over there, and if we get into the details, we can see we can look at the details of the beer and so on. Now, the, what we're going to do is we're going to um, um, publish this as an application, and we'll just look at it straight away. So let's click the, um, let's create a new app. So this instantly creates a new app, and let's have a look at it in live mode. I'll just pull it over from the next screen. Here we are. Now this is a fully responsive application. Um, over here it's just running in the browser. And here it is. And this is the Beer Explorer. So let's start exploring. Now at the moment we're not going to have any beers in. So we could go and add a new beer. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to generate some sample data. And it's going to use AI to generate the sample data for this.
Hey, here we go. Here comes the sample data. Uh, how cool is this? It's pulling out images, finding sample images. So Mountain Creek Brewery, let's have a look at that. It's got the information over here, which has been pulled out about it. Now we could add a review on this, on this uh, over here. So let's put a review in. Um, so, uh, great beer. Beer. Uh, we can give it, uh, let's say we're going to give it four stars. So we can submit that. So everything has been created for that. Actually, we didn't have an image over there. We could have attached an image or put an image URL in. But we can see here that, that is actually in there. We go back to you know one of the other beers over here. So here's the Golden Valley Brewery. It's brought it some information in, some interesting facts about it. Again, no reviews. It's that easy to be able to create an application. It's even pulled out things like icons and that. Now we've got a full CRUD capability here, so we can edit all this data. Um, again, if we went to the, let's go back to the beer, beer details, um, we could go in and we could add a new beer to the list. So we could create a new one from scratch. We can come into these existing ones and edit it. I didn't have to code a single thing. So just to summarize, we took an idea, we turned it into a specification, we tweaked that specification, which we then turned into a data model, which we could tweak and refine. Um, we then went and we generated all the screens, which married together the design system and the definition of the app into a customizable Figma file that you can go in and edit, or anybody with the design skills can go and edit in that Figma file. And then we published it as an app, and that can be available both as a responsive web app or as a native application. We use React Native, it scales, it goes offline, everything right out of the box, running on enterprise level, uh, scalable architecture. So thanks for watching, super excited, and subscribe to our channel, get signed up to the waitlist. Um, love to hear from you.